A lot of people have a misconception with how they can do anything in life when it comes to being motivated. And after all my years of working in the self-improvement world, I want to share with you the what I believe to be the correct understanding of how motivation works and how you can be proactive with completing your goals or tasks that you end up setting uh, on a daily basis. So you can see this simple diagram here. Yeah, I'm going to uh, obviously share more with you, which I'm very likely going to have put as the uh, the thumbnail for this video. So um, it's not going to necessarily be a secret here. But I want to just start by talking about what is motivation and what does it mean to be taking action? And then I will give you the uh, the correct way to be using these two particular things. So motivation, what is motivation? Well, it's the thing that just gets you out of bed in the morning. Uh, perhaps maybe you are someone who, uh, you know, you wake up first thing, and you're like, oh, I really can't be bothered for the day. I've got nothing that I, I want to really get on and do. Or perhaps maybe you're someone who knows that they need to go to the gym and you're like, you know what? I won't go to the gym today. I'll just go tomorrow instead. Um, or perhaps even with like dating, you know that you uh, want to have a date in life. Maybe you're looking to get yourself a girlfriend and you're just not putting any effort into it. You see it's, oh, it's just going to be a lot of work. I can't be bothered to, to do it. Or, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll start tomorrow working on my date in life. When there's a lack of motivation, it is very difficult um, to get any kind of like task done. So motivation is a big struggle if you haven't got it. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to take action. So what do I mean by taking action? Well, this is the proactive uh, movement or action with doing something. So if you want to get the physique that you've always wanted, then you have to be going to the gym, you have to be lifting weights and you have to develop a routine. Um, if you want to get a girlfriend or find a girlfriend, then you have to be actively dating. You have to either be going on the apps or you have to be cold approaching. If you see someone that you like, you've got to go and strike a conversation. If you keep being demotivated or putting off the idea of doing something, then it will never happen. Okay. So, that's essentially the the explanation of like, well, what is motivation and what is taking action? So a lot of people, they tend to struggle with anything in life because they think that they need to find the motivation first to then take action. But that is not the reality. The reality is you need to be just taking action to then get that motivation to then take more action. And then that's how you get that perpetuating cycle moving. But what exactly do I mean by it, that perpetuating cycle? So this is where we can go just a little bit deeper in the understanding of how this works. So as you can see, I've now got two concepts here that I wanna share with you. And it's just something for you really to consider. Uh, and I've called these kinetic momentum and forward momentum. So kinetic momentum is the fuel, the energy that you need to be able to do something. And it can simply be just a movement. So for example, if you wake up in the morning and you're just like, oh, I, 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 I know I need to get out of bed, but I just don't want to. If there's no movement, which is essentially the no taking action, then you will just be staying in bed all day because you are not putting any energy into your movement to get yourself going. So by taking action, you are creating that kinetic momentum. You are suddenly giving whatever the goal or task is that you're looking to achieve, you are suddenly giving that fuel, you are giving that energy. And then once you start doing something, you suddenly then find the motivation for it. 
And then that's where we can move on to the forward momentum, where if you are moving forwards rather than backwards or just stagnating and standing still, then you find you just start getting that full momentum moving, which then causes you to take action. So I'll, I'll give you an example for this. So again, we'll, we'll start off with the simple one of uh, you wake up in the morning and you decide that, you know what, you need a coffee, but that means that you've got to get out of bed. So the take action step here is that you need to, first of all, move to get out of bed. So let's just force that energy to sit up on the side of your bed, um, which I'm sorry, I've got my, my cat's just tapped me on the toe. Um, so, so you then, uh, maybe then you stand up and you start walking towards the stairs. You've already now given your body just that bit of fuel to move towards going downstairs and having a coffee. So you've now got, uh, that forward momentum going. So obviously your motivation is that you want a coffee. And if you're then like halfway down the stairs, you're not going to then turn around and go, uh, you know what, I'm going to go back to bed. I'll, I'll, I'll have my coffee later. No, you're going to carry on moving forward. You aren't stagnating. You are moving forwards rather than backwards. And then you're going to then go downstairs. How do you make a coffee? Well, you're going to have to turn on your kettle and you're going to have to start moving things. So you're taking action by completing more tasks. You've got that forward momentum going and you've then got even more desire to have that coffee because you've got that momentum. That is then going to carry on moving forward because once you've put the coffee beans in the in the uh, the glass, you've got to pour water in, you've got to pour milk in, and and so on. Um, let's use another example here of um, with going to the gym. Now, if you came in with just the idea of you know you need to go to the gym but you aren't taking action. Uh, so again, if we were to start with the motivation side, you might then find that you haven't got any energy and eventually you'll just cite yourself and be like, oh, you know what? I, I just haven't got, I, I'm just not in the mood for it. But if you were to take action, if you're like, right, I need to go to the gym, just put all your gym stuff, either wear it or put it in a bag, head out. You've got that fuel. You've got that kinetic momentum going. You are moving out of the house you're then going to find that you're you've got even more of that desire even it might if it might be small but you're going to have a little bit more of a desire to go to the gym especially if you're in your car or on the train or whatever and you're all walking you're on your way there you're not going to just sort of stop and turn around and go oh you know what I'm going to turn around you've got that forward momentum going and you've got the energy to do it and then once you get to the gym same thing will happen you're not going to uh, you're going to you know that you need to use the weights you're not going to just look at the weights and go, now, nah, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to touch the weights. You need the energy to move towards the weights and pick them up. And then once you've picked up that weight and you do a curl or whatever, whatever exercise, you've got that momentum going. Okay. And we'll use it now. We'll use just a dating example because I've, I've stuck with the, uh, the trilogy of these three here. Um, so again, if you know that you need to go and practice talking to strangers and maybe go into like a dating coach and doing the cold approaching is the, uh, the option for you here, or maybe you want to do the more lazy thing and you want to, um, meet people through dating apps. The first thing you need to do is actually take action and go on the dating apps or, get yourself out of a house and go somewhere where you can meet people or find errands that you can do that are out and about that gives you a reason to pass people that you could be attracted to. Now you've got that movement then moving, whether it be right, you're now on the app, you're swiping, you're at least taking action. You've at least got that momentum. And if you end up matching with someone, you're then going to be motivated. You're like, Oh wow. Okay. I've matched with someone. Right. Now that I've got to start that conversation, get the ball rolling towards getting a number. Or if you're out doing cold approaching, that's already at least a little bit of kinetic momentum. You at least got a little bit of fuel there. But if you then see someone that you're attracted to, you can't just sort of stand there and be like, oh, you know what? I, I, I want to go and talk to that person. That You need the fuel. So you need to be moving towards that person first. 
You'll find then you'll get your motivation as you are approaching or nearing that person that you want to talk to and strike a conversation with. And because you've got that forward momentum going, you're not going to, well, you maybe might stop because you might be nervous, but you are moving towards that goal. So if you're finding that you are struggling with motivation or finding motivation, I can assure you, you are never going to find it. You have to be taking action first to give yourself, give your body that fuel to then create that motivation. And then once you've got that forward movement going, you will find that that cycle will continue. But if you are looking for motivation, you will find that you're not giving yourself any fuel to carry on this cycle. Uh, It's a little bit like, I think it's a catalytic converter that's in a car that to give, to charge the battery and give it more energy, you have to be moving forward. You have to be using the car to create it. If the car just stands still, it's not going to be creating any energy that's going to charge that battery. So, you know, you can sit in the car and you can be like, oh, I hope it moves, but you have to be turning on the engine. You have to be taking action. You have to be creating that energetic or kinetic movement and then as the car is moving that is how more energy can be created and then you will find that you're being go you are going in a direction that you want to be going in so i hope this explanation makes sense and in fact uh, i did discover recently um that uh, mark manson's book um oh my goodness i can't recall uh, the subtle art of not giving up. Mm. Um, he actually has uh, a very similar concept to this. So if you don't heed my words here, by all means, do check out his book. I highly recommend it. It is a good favorite book of mine now. Um, but um, this is how you can accomplish anything that you want in life. Take action first start moving yourself towards it, give yourself that energy or fuel to be able to create more motivation and more taking action. And you'll find that this cycle will just carry on continuing. So I hope this video was useful for you. Um, This is something that I certainly do on a daily basis, uh, whether it is getting myself out of bed in the morning, whether it's me trying to accomplish tasks for the day, I know that I need to just be taking action, getting on with it. Uh, Maybe even watch my other videos, stop moaning and just get on with it as well, where that also follows this principle. You need to just get on and do stuff, take action, and then you will find the motivation to carry on taking more action. So like this video if you can, please do subscribe to the channel where I will be sharing even more content to help you with your uh, your lifestyle, your dating life, um, and with your anxiety. And if you are interested in having me as your life coach to help you find this extra motivation and certainly to help uh, to hold you accountable, stumbling on my words here, to hold you accountable, then do please get in contact. I can help with anything in your areas, uh, in any areas of your life rather than just dating. And I can assure you the help that I've given to people, uh, they have certainly seen some uh, fantastic results in their business um, and in their personal lives as well. So thanks for watching and look forward to my next video coming out soon.